St. Patrick's School actually was used as a brother's bungalow to just rest and recreate by the sea. And in 1933, brother Stephen Buckley built the school. And mainly the students were from the Frankel uh, coconut plantation area. During the Japanese occupation, the school was used as a hospital. But the Japanese were very respectful of prayer houses. When we came to the chapel, we found the stations of the cross, the 14 stations. They were all covered with Japanese rice paper. Then there were three schools in one. We had a primary, a secondary, as well as a pre-U. In the pre-U, we had girls who were a great stabilizing factor in the school. The school has produced uh, a number of our distinguished people. Of course, the first one is the head of state, President Tony Tan. We have also had George Yeo here for two years and he went over to St. Joseph, Moses Lee, Barry Desker, uh, Chia Kim Tech, of course our good sportsman, Mr. Niam Chiang Meng, who was with me together, same batch. The school has also produced religious and priests. Monsignor Eugene Vass was here and many other priests and uh, we had one sister who was a student here and that's uh, Sister Dorothy from the Kenoshan. Thanks to all the teachers uh, who have actually put in a lot of work to try and discipline us, teach us, impart those good values to us and uh, we didn't like it at that time, you know. Um, like I remember Brother Justinian caning me, but at the end of the day, it's what he has imparted to us, the advice he gave us, you know. And especially, he'll take you aside and he'll talk to you and advise you because he says, I'm very concerned for you, for your future. And so, too, uh, the, the other teachers. Uh, not only they, they guided us uh, where studies are concerned, but also in sports and in so doing, they impart life skills to us. You know? So I, I owe them a debt of gratitude for what I am today. During my time, the school were, were run by a lot of uh, brothers from, from La Salle and brothers. So they do have their own set of norms, culture, belief and value system. And I can't speak for a Catholic school, but at least where I was, they don't impose it on us. But they sort of share with us and say, you know, these are some of the do's and don'ts in life. But you, you're, you're free to choose. Huh? And, and um, I think from the outside, it looks like they're a very disciplined institution. I think to a certain extent, they are. They cane people and they, they certainly cut your hair if they think it's longer than it should. But on the other hand, I think they give us all long ropes to, you know, uh, uh, roam the space and do our things. I remember myself starting school in 1964 when I was in Primary 1 in St. Patrick's. Um, I used to enjoy going to the sea, which is now Marine Parade Road. At that time, it was a beautiful sea, the beach was very nice. The other side, what we used to then call the border's quarters. Uh, and actually, there was a rule that we were not supposed to go and play in the water there, but you know, boys are boys. When I was in charge of the, uh, the soccer team, I used to take the boys on a run along the beach to Cotton Convent School. And when we reached there, some of the boys made a request of climbing up a tree. I found it strange, you know, because they said, Brother, can we climb up this, uh, this tree? I said, you may, provided you don't fall down. But 
Some of them, after climbing up, they said, okay, let's go back. And I asked them, why? He said, oh, we are happy we have seen the girls. <laughs> so, <laughs> the simple joys in those days. Don't forget the motto that uh, the school has about he who wills can. Because uh, you should never give up in what you do. Uh, if you want certain things in life, you do need to work hard for it. And uh, you can achieve it if you, if you do that. I, I got the President's Scholarship and that to me was uh, something like a dream come true. You know, even these things you cannot not expect. But I believe that it was only possible because of the impact that uh, the principal in particular, Brother Joseph Kylie, yeah, and all my teachers, you know, all very inspirational uh, teachers and the impact that they had on me. Because they truly make me enjoy education, truly make me I want to do my best for every subject that they teach. I would say that mission schools such as St. Pat's uh, provide an opportunity for, for the student to learn about himself. Uh, they inculcate a character, sense of moral values and emphasize the whole person. You do not engage just in book learning but you also learn about the world outside you. You learn how to interact with the world and you develop a sense of community. This notion of service to the community is something that uh, is carried forward by any student who has graduated from schools like St. Patrick's. One thing about St. Patrick's that really developed me as a person is the Lasagna spirit is in must always care for those who are weaker than you and help those who are uh, poorer than you, who are at this disadvantage. And I think this, in a way, motivated me to become a doctor. Uh, there is some emphasis on, on academia, that's true. But the difference is that in St. Patrick's, there was an emphasis on the holistic nature of the development of the boy into the man. It's based on Christian principles. You need to help your neighbor, you need to love your neighbor, and you have friends, and these friends stand you throughout life. When there's this kind of holistic approach to education, it's very pastoral. When you go out into the world, you realize that what you did in school, just the grades alone, are not what makes you succeed in life a lot of the time. What makes you succeed in life is all the soft skills that you get, you know, how you get along with people, how you empathize. And these are the things that actually were taught in St. Patrick's, and they were taught not actively, but you know, as part of the whole educational thing. It really is the school of life. St. Pax is still giving that, you know, that opportunity to young people to really come to know themselves, to find themselves, and deep within their faith and uh, experience of God, to express themselves as, as full human beings. So I would say to the boys in St. Pat's, uh, you're a very blessed lot of people because you're in a great school with a great history. On the 80th anniversary of the founding of St. Pat's, I would like to wish the staff, students and alumni all uh, the best. I'm sure a very bright future lies ahead for St. Patrick's and together we patricians should go forward. Happy 80th birthday and uh, God's blessings on the school. I assure you I keep on praying for you. Uh, I want to wish all of you uh, a very very happy 80th anniversary of St. Pat's. Long live St. Pat's. <laughs> <laughs>